Bass here, and I'm here with a new interview. I interview Mermaid Elizabeth and Sea Sprite Andy, along with Sea Sprite Andy's mother, Brandy. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. In this video, you're in for a treat because I talk with both Andy and Liz about a lot of things including their upcoming scuba diving adventure, and so much more. I am joined here by Sea Sprite Andy and Mermaid Elizabeth. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine. Hello. Hello. As you all know, I'm, I'm Lewis. I'm autistic. I'm of the YouTube channel Lewis's Adventures, but I'm also known as Merman Adventurer Philly, which of course this headband here is part of my persona, which of course for right fielder of the Philadelphia Phillies, Bryce Harper started this trend, and I thought why not incorporate it into my persona because because it is Philadelphia themed and the Philadelphia sports team. That's very cool. <laughs> and we can talk. And we are, and we're also joined by Andrea or Andy's mother, Brandy. Hi. Hop on in there so we can see you. Show your face, Brandy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So there are a lot of things we're going to talk about. Okay. And let me tell you this: I heard, I heard a lot of good things are going to be happening to you, which one of them. Happens to be one of the questions. One, this is about diving, scuba diving, free diving. Since I also heard you're going to become a scuba diver. Let me tell you something, Andrea. I'm also a scuba diver myself. <laughs> That's so cool. Yep. That is. So, how did you, what made you want to get into scuba diving? Both of Fish. you. Fish, eels, sea critters. That's mermaids. cool. That's cool. That's cool. I fell in love with diving since I was two years old, and I even got my friend Mermaid Moya Opal. I mean, I convinced her to to get certified through a dive shop here in Philadelphia when she used to live here. It turns out they yeah they certified her, and she actually enjoyed it, and. Moya Opal actually is a very good mermaid. She, she, like me, planned to get our advanced divers in the future. Oh, I think it froze on us. And are you going to be... And of course, you know, you have to be 10 to get certified to scuba dive. Right. Like, mm -hmm. So you're going to be turning 10, Andy? Yep. That's cool, and congratulations. I can't wait to hear about your Thank scuba you. diving adventure with, with Liz. I can't wait to hear about it. Hey, Andy, Thank do you, you want to tell them where we're going to go scuba diving? We're going to go scuba diving in Bonaire. Oh, Bonaire. I always wanted to go diving there. At last <laughs> month, I was just in Cozumel in Mexico scuba diving. I was actually diving in Mexico last month. Hmm. That's super cool. Interesting. Yep. And I did it with my friends from an organization called Dive Heart. Aww. Yep. They help people with all types of disabilities through scuba diving, not just autism, but but you even have people in wheelchairs as a result of various injuries like accidents, which leave them paralyzed, to diseases. That's what Dive Heart does. That's, That's awesome. super important. That really is. Maybe someday when you're old enough, Andy, maybe when you're old enough, maybe you could, could get back and join Dive Heart and become a volunteer. Could always use someone like you to help out. That would be awesome. It would. And you should also join too, Liz, because awesome. I'm always looking for volunteers. <laughs> Do they have um, a group down in Florida, or is it based out of, like, the Philly area? 
Um, they're not based out of Philly. They're based out of Downers Grove, the suburb of Chicago. Okay. Oh. But they but they do have a South Florida group though. They do have a South Florida division. Oh, oh. I'll have to look into that. Yep. We will. And uh, and they ha- have worked with kids you, that are close to your age too. Really? Mm-hmm. Whoa. That's kind of long. When you're old Andy, when you're a little older, do you plan to learn how to free dive and hold your breath? Like Liz? Know. Liz, are you a free know. diver? I'm not free dive certified. Um several of my friends are, so I'm kind of just playing a little bit on my own right now. Obviously they're there are safety. But uh, that is on the bucket list of things to do. So yeah, you should. I highly recommend it. I'm currently a combined water free diver with Nawi, but I'm actually still working on my open water. I almost finished my training, but I had ran into a little bit of trouble in the form of a sinus squeeze and nosebleed during my first dive down to um, 9.9 meters, almost 10 meters, 31 feet to be precise. And that is on one breath without scuba. Very good. My best so far, I think, is like 22, 23. Well, of course, I need to do two more dives down to that depth in order to pass. Mm -hmm. That's the only way I can become an open water diver right now. But I'm going to get there. And I also have an announcement to share, which is I'm actually, I actually submitted information and application on New Year's Eve two weeks ago. I'm actually working on trying to get a scholarship with NAWI in hopes of becoming a NAWI mermaid instructor. And if I do get accepted, I will talk about it here on this channel. Further details will come down the road. Oh, that is awesome. I, yeah, I'm a certified mermaid instructor. That was an intense class to take. And you know, SSI mermaid. Who who you certified through, Liz, Nowie, Patty, SSI? Initially, we um, initially went through S, SI, and then we uh, transferred our stuff and went through SDI. So I'm an SDI instructor. Oh, that's cool. Because two months ago, because two months ago, Mermaid Moy Opal, she got certified through Patty and got her advanced mermaid. She did it at Alexander Springs. Very cool. I love Alexander Springs. It's so beautiful. I actually plan to go there in the future. You'll have to let me know when, because I will uh, come up and meet you at the Springs and introduce you to uh, a bunch of Florida mermaids. Yeah, I'm hoping to do it on Mermaid Monday in 2024, right around the time my 40th, my upcoming 40th birthday next year. Do you want to tell everybody or should I? I'll tell them. Next okay. year, I turned 40 and I have hopes of, I plan to come up to Alexander Springs, but I'll be doing it for two days. One for scuba diving, and then the other for Mermaid Monday. Very cool. And you know what? We can celebrate our birthday together because we have the same birthday. Well, you're on March 19th? Yes. I was born March 19th, 1984. Well, what about you? 1970. Wow. You're yeah. 14 years That's older than me. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. And Andy, when's your birthday? April 30th. I'll be right back. Zoom. All right, that's that's cool. You're an SDI mermaid or, or SSI mermaid, right? SDI mermaid instructor. SSI. Talking- and Brandy and uh, Andy is an SSI mermaid. So and so so Brandy, um, are you scuba certified? I am. Yeah. A couple of years now. Will you certify through Patty, Nawi, S- SSI, SBI? Nawi. I have my advanced nitrox, and I'm, I might do combined spaces, but I'm not a big fan of those. So it's still in the air on that one. I'm currently a Patty open water diver with, with 141 dives under my belt. Good for you. That's amazing. I'm still trying to get my advanced diver. And Mermaid Moy Opal, she is currently a patty open water diver herself, too. 
That's super cool. I did see the interview that you two did. So yeah. good, good job. That was really good. It was. Thanks. Thanks. If anyone is interested, I will post a link to that interview in, in the description below and in the cards. Awesome. And of course, the next question has to do with mermaiding. And this one is for you, Andrea. Okay. How, how did you become a mermaid and why? And how did you meet Liz in the process? Um, when I was about three years old, I was watching The Little Mermaid, H2O, Make a Mermaid. And at, when I was um, about six, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so when she was turning three, she loved Ariel. You know, all, all little girls want to be mermaids. <laughs> well, most little girls want to be mermaids. And Ariel was the, the queen of those. That's so, so cool. That's we so lived cool. in Ohio. Yeah, we lived in Ohio, and I thought, oh, it would be so cute if I would do, um, like, a mermaid photo shoot for her third birthday. So I did a ton of research. It took weeks there because there are so many mermaid tail makers on the market, but I wanted to make sure that what I got was going to look nice, but I wanted it to be functional so that she could wear it, like, in the you know in the shallow end of the pool and things oh, like that that's so, so we, cool we did settle on um her first guppy fin from the mer taylor and which is what i have. We did her photos i love the mer we love the mer taylor yeah, yeah. i love the we're, mer taylor we're big. too yeah and so we did the photo shoot when she was three and then she started wearing it like she slept in it. I have pictures of her sleeping in it. She didn't want Aww, to take it off. That's so cute. That's so and cute. She wore it in the bathtub and then she wore it in her kiddie pool. And then when we put her in the regular pool, she just could swim in it. So it just kind of happened naturally. We never thought when we moved down to Florida that we would meet mermaids that were in pods and we just kind of became part of the mermaid community accidentally for Andrea's um fifth or sixth birthday we went down to the Keys and had a photo shoot done um with Brandy Anthony and so that's kind of how it all started you mean Brandy Anthony I actually I follow her on Instagram yeah, so we have, see, I don't know if you can see them on the wall there, but. That, that's pretty. That's so beautiful. Those your were. Your room is so beautiful, and, and Andy, your room is so beautiful. Uh, I wish, I wish my room were, were <laughs> that, were that neat and tidy, but that's why I have this um little undersea background, so you wouldn't see my <laughs> messy room. It, excuse me for that. <laughs> That's okay. So then we we went down to the Keys the next year, and that's when we met Mermaid Liz. Right. And they <laughs> swam together, and you guys have just been, like, the best of friends. Right. And they just, they were, like, instant. They just clicked. So Liz is actually Andrea's mermaid mama, because I do not have a tail. Um, and so... Andrea's mermaid mama is Liz, <laughs> aka her her aka her mermaid mentor, right? Yes, well, kind of. And it's let, almost the other way around. Andy really inspires me. So, oh, we swam together. Aww. I was self-taught, pretty new at it, kind of nervous, and this okay. beautiful little girls. Let us swim with you, and I'm like. <laughs> You know, it's like, okay. I'm like, okay. And she's like, takes off. And I'm like, wow, I want to do that. <laughs> I want to be that good. And uh, it was funny because she wanted to swim and we ended up sitting on the shoreline and playing in the sand and having a good time. Most of our time is actually playing. Which is awesome. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell you how I became a merman. So you said you seen the little mermaid. Well, that actually came out when I was five years old in 1989. I'm oh. now I'm now 38. 
<laughs> when I when I seen Merman in that movie, I always wanted a tail. That's one of the reasons. But fast forward to 2019, ever since reuniting with my friend who who who's known as Mermaid Moya Opal, when she started her mermaid journey in 2019, that inspired me to get my own tail. And after she got hers, and and I also have her fun fact. You mentioned H2O and Mako Mermaids. She actually introduced me to H2O and I was able to binge the whole series on Netflix and then I discovered Mako Mermaids and when I seen Zack in there the merman it, it convinced me that I should also be a merman. Very Absolutely. Cool. You go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And of course Moya Opal herself, she's she's a huge H2O and Mako Mermaids fan, and she even did a cover of the of the Northern Pod Siren song from season two, which I can also post the link to in the description below, along with in the cards as well. Very cool. Yeah, I'd love to see that it. Is, yeah, me too. That is really cool. Yes. And she actually she told me this in my interview she always that I did with her that she always been a fan of mermaids since she was little. She used to make songs about them. She always studied biology of them. She's so for a friend like that, I'm happy to call her my mer friend. Aww. You meet the the sweetest, most interesting people, some of the kindest people ever in the mermaid community. Thank you. We're so blessed. Thank you. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't even be thinking about my free diving and my eventual mermaid certification. And speaking of mermaids, I got to meet the mermaids of Wands and Wishes, some of them in person last year, such as Mermaid Serenity. I met Mermaid Colopi. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I'm hoping to one day join them myself. But but all I as a as an aquarium merman, seeing as seeing as I have a lot of experience being an aquarium diver for the Adventure Aquarium over across the river from Philadelphia in Camden, New Jersey. But of course, Wands and Wishes requires you to not only have your rescue diver as a scuba diver but also you have to be an open water free diver too which as I said I'm still working on that and then after I get my advanced diver then I'll tackle my rescue diver so now I see your motivation for getting all this done yes and yeah and and especially after seeing mermaid after I seen Moya Opal Pass her training, and if you've seen on her Instagram, her Mersona Instagram, she she's training in her wetsuit and swim cap and diving down in Alexander Springs. Mm-hmm. She had to do that as part of her training. She told me that the springs can be cold, but I told her I pretend that's you actually swimming into battle, that your swim cap and wetsuit is like armor, and that you're swimming in the battle. That's what I that's what I, that's the compliment I gave to my friend. Very it's a good cool. idea. Yeah. That's it's a good way to you. look at it. So she doesn't feel less ridiculous and she ain't ridiculous. I told her that. That's what I think right. of her as. I thought of that wetsuit and that swim cap as armor. Exactly. Well, right. the, springs, the springs are cold. They're always at 72 degrees. So, I mean, picture South Florida if it's in the 90s and you jump in that water, it gets cold. I think. Well, if I ever do my training down there, if I get that scholarship, that's where I plan to do my own training at. I too plan to be inspired by her. Got a swim cap, got mm-hmm. my shorty wetsuit, and swim into battle. There you go. Well, hopefully I get to see you that weekend. We'll have to plan that out for my for my birthday weekend. I mean, yes. we do for my birthday trip, which which of course I thought I'm hoping to dive with with Moya Opal at Alexander and along with her her instructor and my new friend mermaid siren celeste they certified her and they are also cool i plan to dive with them hopefully when i'm in florida so it will not only be a disney 
a trip to Walt Disney World, it'll also be a, a visit to the Springs, too. Well, I'm game to go to Disney with you, too. Yeah, and since, since, since I have Merfolk as the theme of my 40th birthday, I think I might also want to go to Magic Kingdom and go meet Ariel. I went and met her. It's so cool. I would definitely say to Princess Ariel, I followed your adventures. I'll never forget when you helped Eric defeat Ursula and how you saved your daughter from Morgana. Ursula's sister. Mm-hmm. That's what I would say. That I have. We got it. I don't. Want to, I would say to. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Sorry, we, we've been we've been bombarded. It's it's really it's okay. I have a puppy of my own. Is that a dog hound? He is a Dosh Herman Chawini. Or he's a Chawini, a Dosh Herman Chihuahua. Uh, a Chawini. I previously had a Chawini before it passed <laughs> away in in December of 2021. It died on Christmas Eve of 2021, Aww. sadly. Weeks after my last Disney trip with my sister and mother. <laughs> he, he was a rescue. His name was Potter. But but our new Dockhound, our new Dockhound puppy, he's like only seven okay. months old. His name is Vinny. Cute. He's downstairs with my mother. He's my fur brother. Cute. So what's your, Randy, what's you, what's you and Andrea's dog's name? Blue. His name is Blue. Blue? Aw, so cute. So, so, so cute. Blue, we met Blue at the Murr Taylor, and he and Andy are, are they terrorize the gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. what is he, a rescue? Um, oh, you mean the dog? No, no, we have a mini Dosh hound. That was, she had one puppy and that was him. Oh, oh, you do have a Dosh hound. I do. The mom is a mini Dosh hound. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even though I like Mer Taylor, I'm, I'm also planning to get a Finn folk as well. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Andrea's got we're doing a silicone tail next, so it's in. It's being made. I'm planning to get a scuba. So that's tail. our next big thing. I'm planning to get a yeah. scuba tail from from Finfolk, possibly for Christmas, so I can use it with my beloved Linden Mono Fin. There you go. Because my Linden Mono, and I'm good friends with Mermaid Linden. As a result, Are you? yep, I interviewed her last year. If you want to see that interview, I'll also post it in the cards and in the description below for those who want to see my little interview with, with the inventor of the infamous, I mean, famous Mermaid Linden Monopin. I didn't even say infamous. No, no, no. She's famous. <laughs> All right. Um, what else? What else? Yeah. Besides how you became a mermaid, what is it? What is it you hope to be when you get older as a mermaid? Do you plan to do mermaid shows like Liz? What? You plan to do mermaid shows, you know, performances, gigs. Uh, I don't, I don't know yet. I mm-hmm. plan, I plan to do mermaid gigs. As I said, I want to join Wands and Wishes one day. That is my goal. That makes sense. It's a good I, goal. And of course, I will be sure when that day happens, I'll be sure to post a lot of that on my Mersona. Because if I ever get a silicone tail, I would get it with the logos of all the Philadelphia sports teams, including the Phillies. Oh. Yes. The eyes, as you see here, are of the Phillies mascot, the Philly fanatic. He has he's 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 a big green mascot who wears his own little jersey and he sticks his tongue out. He acts silly during baseball games or special events. The Philly fanatic. Yeah, that's well, and, Bryce, and Bryce Harper was inspired by the fanatic when he when he came out with this in twenty nineteen. So I got, I got this at a Phillies game one day. 
And let me give you a little background on my Mersona, Merman Adventure Philly. He's a merman born off the coast of New Jersey, and he frequents the 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 shore the shoreline of New Jersey to he swims up the Delaware River and goes to Philadelphia sporting events and then swims back under the sea through the Delaware River. Very cool. So Interesting. So he's a he's a merman who happens to also be a sports fan. That's Very cute. Cool. Whereas my friend Mermaid Moya Opal mentioned she's a an Irish sea born mermaid. Ah, so like a selkie. Oh. Sort of. And before we end this interview, we're running out of time. What advice would you have for those who want to become professionals, Liz? Who have disabilities like me? The important thing is going through the training and then building a, a good crew of people around you to support you and, and work with you. But like you're well on your way doing the, the training and getting all your skills down. And then you know, when you take that instructor certification class, it's like a whole new level. And it'll teach you about how to teach other people. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you something about teaching. I actually also have experience working with kids through the YMCA because I also, long before I lost my job there because of the pandemic, in addition to being a lifeguard, I also helped teach little preschoolers how to swim. That's awesome. And you I also, Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, then you can, you've got that knowledge base already about how to teach so you can pull that all together i think you're going to do great thank you i appreciate that and i will keep you informed on on the status of the scholarship i'm still waiting from nowy yeah definitely so i have I one more i have a question for you when you come to florida are you going to go to the Mertaler store and see their aquarium and their for, probably not on this trip maybe a future trip my goal is one day to move down there and be close to the springs the whole time. There, springs are so beautiful. Andrea, when you get older, you're going to appreciate the springs. It's a lot of fun. She she's too petite. She can't swim in them yet. She gets too cold, so we don't we avoid them. I talk about when she's ready. Yeah, when she's older and she has a little bit more, you know, body heat. <laughs> That's understandable. That's understandable. You're, you're still just a young, growing girl. Take your time. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us on. We appreciated the invite so much. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, you're welcome. And I thank you for coming on. Yes, thank Absolutely. you so much. This was great. Yes. All right, everyone. Take care. Thanks for watching. I had a blast interviewing Liz and Andy, and it was a lot of fun. And I always enjoy doing these interviews ever since I started my Road to Cozumel series. Because this is now also part of my channel, and this brings a lot of warmth and joy to my heart whenever I talk to a lot of people, whether it be fellow mirrors, fellow YouTubers, etc. In the meantime, this is Lewis saying, Thanks for watching, everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Facebook, and TikTok, whenever.